Hello, amazing kitchens people. You all are so warm and wonderful and loving. Thank you for being here. So kitchens people come alive in creative gathering spaces. Imagine a table at mealtime. Everyone gathered around, engaged in conversation, and seeing and tasting beautiful and amazing food. Kitchens people love gathering together where something is being produced. That is what is good for you. That is what is healthy for you. But it doesn't just have to be your kitchen at home. This can also mean gathering together in an art studio, for example. This could be gathering together in some sort of workshop. This could be gathering together with people at a barbecue or surrounded by a campfire. Besides the kitchen, you could also gather at a restaurant or coffee shop where they prepare pair the food in front of you, or maybe somewhere like a community garden where everyone plants beautiful flowers together or grows food together. Participating in some sort of community art event, like painting a community mural or some sort of community dance event or even a parade. Get creative, even things like group fitness classes. If everybody's having a good time and working together, that can be amazing for you. You might also enjoy team sports, especially if they're not super serious, especially if there's a chance to chat with the people around you and just enjoy that camaraderie together. You're meant to frequent familiar environments where you can run into people that you know. This is super, super healthy for you. You really are such good people and part of the good that you do is forming these little connections with people that you see in your everyday life like the person at the coffee shop or the person at the gas station, someone who works behind the food truck where you always get your lunch. It's so good and so healthy for you to go back to your favorite places over and over again in your community, run into people that you know and you strike up conversation. You just have this way of creating the warmth of home and that feeling of being gathered together around mealtimes. You have the capacity to foster that feeling in your everyday life. And when you're in that feeling, that is when you are most aligned with your design. I want you to think about the word community. Community is an important word for you. And I think if you find the word community in the title of something, it's sort of worth a try. <laughs> this is our community barbecue. It's our community pancake breakfast. This is our community fundraiser. This is our community 5K. Give it a try. See if it aligns you. See if it energizes you. Because community usually does energize a kitchen person. Kitchens people are probably the most likely to enjoy gathering in online community spaces too. You might actually find that you really like group chats or you actually enjoy Zoom meetings. You will thrive in the open spaces where people gather, the hot spots where people mix and mingle and connect. So if you're feeling stagnant, get out and volunteer. Maybe hand out water bottles at a community race or volunteer to work the barbecue at your work cookout. Just gather together with others, be around the goodness, and where possible, be around food. Being around food preparation is really good for you. Kitchens people are about so much more than the kitchens and the dining room, but some nice food goes a good long way. Work the barbecue, volunteer at the pancake breakfast, or be in your kitchen at home and make a lovely little snack or meal for someone you love. Always say yes 
to an opportunity to gather together with others and enjoy a nice meal. Thank you so much for watching today's video and joining me for this human design moment. If you enjoyed today's video and you're interested in finding out more about human design, details for my human design reading will be at the end of this video and we'll have more human design videos coming out all week. Thank you all so much for watching today. It is a joy to have you here. Many blessings. Have a great day and namaste.